Life Drawing Talks Conversations with Alexander Rishkin This video is special. We will talk with the Life Drawing Academy tutor, Alexander Rishkin, about art and life drawing, as well as how to cultivate good drawing skills. Drawing from Life – How to Develop Good Drawing Skills In Russia, there is a traditional classical art education system. Unlike in the West, it wasn't derailed in the 20th century. This system steadily and methodically prepares fine artists starting from art schools for children to postgraduate degrees. In a children's art school, a student starts from very simple tasks like, for example, drawing a sphere from life and rendering its tonal values. Gradually, such student learns how to hold a pencil, how to draw lines, how to hatch strokes along contours. Drawing tasks get more complex and students learn to draw vases and other geometrical, man-made objects. Drawing simple objects prepares students for more advanced topics like drawing a human eye, for example. Because an eye has a spherical shape and students already know how to draw a sphere, depicting an eye is not a great leap from simple objects to human body forms. If an adult decides to learn drawing, his or her way to art would be very tough. Such a person usually doesn't have time to spend the whole year drawing just spheres, cones, or cubes. At the same time, one would need to develop muscle memory to handle a pencil proficiently, which requires separate, long exercises. And if an adult art student wants to draw a model from life, it would be very challenging without the basic foundation and necessary drawing skills. At the same time, when someone has a burning desire to draw and succeed in art, such a person would not require constant reassuring and praise. He or she would understand that constructive critique is useful and helpful. For example, my students often tell me, Alexander, do not give praise. Just advise about what is wrong with my work. Give me the harsh truth. Learning to draw. How long does it take to learn drawing? In Russia, children who would like to become fine artists start their art education in art schools from the age of 9 or 10. By the end of this school, which takes 4 to 5 years, they have a very good drawing, painting, decorative arts, composition, and sculpting skills, as well as a firm knowledge of the history of arts. Nevertheless, to enter a good art academy, it is necessary to take three additional years of preparatory courses to raise their drawing and painting skills to the next level. Art academy entry exams include drawing a figure and a portrait from life. A student should demonstrate high level of drawing skills and full understanding of constructive drawing principles and the knowledge of human body proportions and anatomy. Such skills and knowledge students receive in art schools and courses, where the first year is spent on drawing only geometrical objects. It starts with flat casts of rosettes. From flat objects, they move to three-dimensional bodies like spheres, cubes, prisms, cones, and cylinders. The next year is dedicated to transition from drawing single objects to simple still lifes, which consist of man-made geometrical objects. Such still lifes become more complex with the addition of draperies. Students move to drawing classical order capitals, organic three-dimensional rosettes, and still lifes with organic items that are getting more elaborate and advanced. Drawing man-made and natural things lasts a long period of time. The next step is progressing to drawing separate facial features like eyes, a nose, a mouth, and an ear. Afterward, students draw a human skull in various views. Life drawing continues with simple head casts that have geometrical planes. After this, students are given to draw ecoche of a head which shows the muscles of a head without skin. Only after these exercises are these art students ready to move on to drawing casts of classical Greek and Roman busts, which are also ordered from simple to more difficult. 
step by step, students learn construction, anatomy, and proportions of a human head. This takes about one year. Thereafter, they advance to studying anatomy and construction of a human body. They draw casts of arms and hands, including écorché, skeletal anatomy, feet, and other parts of a human body. The study continues with drawing écorché of a torso from different points of view and progressing to drawing casts of full standing figures. Studying casts of classical busts, torsos, and figures also takes a lot of time. Every drawing takes from 20 to 40 hours, and students spend about one year drawing cast figures from life. Only then are students considered ready to draw live models. This is the final step of their pre-academy art education. Usually, it is very easy for these students to advance from drawing classical casts to portraying live models because there has been a great deal of preparatory work done in the previous four to six years. If you are wondering if it is possible to do it any faster, probably yes. If you are exceptionally talented and already have good constructive drawing skills and proficient tonal rendering techniques, and all that remains is to fill in the knowledge gaps in anatomy for artists and body proportions. This system gives great results and has developed very skillful and original fine artists for many centuries. I hope that these teaching methods will stay in place in my country for future generations of artists to come. Becoming an Artist What Students Learn in Russian Art Academies The skill to draw realistic portraits and figures does not necessarily make someone an artist. To become a fine artist at a high level, students must enter one of the best art academies in Moscow or St. Petersburg where they will spend another four to six years depending on the course. There, they will take part in more advanced tasks than just drawing proportionate portraits with likeness. Now, a student will learn how to portray personality and describe moods in portraits and figures. A student will learn how in simple drawing of a hand to tell a story about the person, his life, his thoughts, and his moods. The same applies to drawing a foot or a full body. Students will portray single sitters and do multi-figured compositions on given topics. Every new cycle of life drawing assignment will be more difficult and demand higher levels of skill. In the Stroganov Art Academy in Moscow, where I teach, students become not only fine artists, but also industrial or graphic designers, illustrators, sculptors, and so on. Russian Art School. What makes it different? Every art school has its worldview and methods that have been developed over many years and even centuries. It is easy for me to talk about Stroganov Art Academy because I studied there and now I teach at the school. When it comes to the fundamental core of this art academy, it is constructive drawing. In this academy, we have drawings to teach artists to think constructively and three-dimensionally to understand construction of any object. That is why in drawing, tonal rendering is secondary. It serves the purpose of describing a construction of an object, its cross-sections, volumes, and three-dimensional nature of its shapes and contours. I have to say that all Russian art schools have similar points of view. They all have strong constructive drawing in place. The difference between schools is what they superimpose on such drawing. For example, in Surikov Art Academy, Moscow School of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture, they put emphasis on making works of art similar to literature that tell stories, describe different moods, where every artwork is designed to portray emotions, states of mind, and hold a deeper meaning. On the other hand, at the Repin Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg, Imperial Academy of Arts, which I like so much because it is the pinnacle of art schools in the world, they combine all the best systems of drawing and deliver the best art education possible. Art students there are learning constructive drawing as well as drawing styles similar to literature, drawing that is close to painting, easel drawing, monumental drawing, and so on.
This is an ideal example how constructive drawing is used as the foundation for all other types, genres, and methods of drawing. The higher the level of classical art education, including academic drawing and painting, an art student receives, the richer and better their art will be. The same applies to graphic and industrial designers, sculptors, and architects. Entry requirements. How to get a strong art education. There are certain requirements to enter the Stroganov Academy of Arts. A person has to demonstrate sufficient drawing skills by making a portrait from life, an artwork of a classic order capital, and a life drawing of a model standing in contrapposto. The better one makes those drawings, the more likely their chances of getting entrance to the academy. So, without good life drawing skills, there is no hope of studying there. That is why future students go through a long process of learning art to enter the Stroganov Academy of Arts. The Academy's curriculum is based on the premise that a student already has to have good skills in order to be able to develop them to the highest professional level in this institution. There is a great number of art schools for children in Russia, where students spend five years studying the arts simultaneously attending their regular schools. By the time a child finishes school, one already knows how to draw figures and portraits. This makes it possible to teach students new techniques and methods and develop their philosophy and creative personality. A graduate of an average Russian children's art school would be considered a professional artist by Western standards. However, this level is not enough to enter the academy. A student has to spend three more years in preparatory art courses that are given within the walls of the academy for the purpose of preparing students for drawing entry exams. The academy teachers give these preliminary students the necessary knowledge of drawing techniques, so when those students finally enter the academy, they have the required skills to continue their art education. We have had cases where students are coming from abroad, unfortunately, they had no chance because their level of art skills was far below the minimum entry requirements. The art classes they had back home did not provide a classical art education. One student did life figure drawings as she thought at the top level of her atelier, yet the quality of her work was greatly inferior to the level required. She had numerous mistakes in body proportions, anatomy, and tonal rendering. Unfortunately, we could not take her because she would not be able to follow the Academy's curriculum. The entry competition is very high. Every year we have more than 50 candidates for every place available. Here are examples of our students' drawings. They give a good idea of the level of skill required to enter the Stroganov Academy of Arts. There is much more to these drawings than an eye sees. The untrained viewer doesn't see what they don't know, and they don't know that the knowledge is missing. If you are a self-taught artist, for example, do not know color theory, or the theory of tonal values, it doesn't matter how accurately you can copy the lights and shadows you see in life. If you don't know how the laws of light create values, then your drawing will look amateur. Such knowledge is hard to get by pure practice you need to have talented teachers explaining and showing you the principles and rules of drawing. That is why art students in Russia go through a such long and difficult path of learning how to draw, paint, and sculpt. Learning drawing is not possible by reading how to draw books. This is a long and hard process of practicing, with a teacher polishing their students' understanding of drawing principles step by step. Also, it is very difficult to explain to a self-taught artist where they are making mistakes because a huge amount of knowledge is missing. Until such an artist gets all that is needed to know about constructive drawing and processes that knowledge through hard practice, he or she would have no chance at competing with other students who apply to enter the academy. Skills versus Creativity What is the best way to learn drawing? 
The majority of Western contemporary art colleges have as their main aim developing creative thinking in their art students. Yet the focus on professional art skills is lost. They want their graduates to have a creative core. Having good drawing skills by the end of college is optional. The approach in Russian art schools is very different. Above all, they give professional art skills, focusing less on developing the creative personality of a student. The reason for such an approach is that every person is creative by default, especially those who choose art as a profession. What these students need to express their creativity are strong skills. That is why Russian art schools give students a solid classical education, which yields great results. With such an education, a person has the possibility to develop their creativity to a very high level. This produces a high number of artists that are creative and having great skills as well. However, if the education system is focusing on finding a personality and developing creativity without giving the necessary skills of trade, such a student would have to search for skills later in his career. So, there is a conflict when an art college develops creative personalities who are not able to produce the art they have in their mind. The ideal approach is when an academic school develops creativity and gives skills simultaneously. That is why, in Russian art school, apart from drawing and painting, students also learn philosophy, economics, history, and all other subjects to get a deeper understanding of the world, to form their personal views, and to develop their creativity. Portrait Drawing how to draw good portraits. По сути своей, ничего сложного в том, что взять и нарисовать портрет, нет. Все дети рисуют портрет. There is nothing difficult in drawing portraits. Every child can do it. However, there are naive portraits and professional portraits. There are artists that do primitive works of art that are very impressive and eloquent, but such artworks are labeled as naive art. This is because an artist doesn't know the laws of constructive drawing or chooses not to use them. And there is a completely different level of portrait drawing when an artist knows the anatomy of a human head, its proportions and construction, can use constructive drawing principles, and has proficient skills of tonal rendering. To draw good portraits, you have to know those things and to draw what you know. Life Drawing how to get good figurative drawing skills. I hope you found the story about art education system in Russia interesting. I understand that learning Russian and relocation for seven years into Moscow or St. Petersburg might not be feasible for you. However, there is a solution. You can learn good drawing skills whatever your level of skills, age, or location. You can do it from the comfort of your home, starting right now. In addition to the Life Drawing Academy online course, there is the Life Drawing Academy correspondence course. This is a great value, optional extra. Do you know what all great fine artists have in common? Every famous and skillful artist in the history of fine arts had a talented art tutor. There is no such thing as a self-taught old master. What has worked in the previous 2,000 years will work for you today. If you really want to develop good drawing skills and become a professional fine artist, you have to have a professional art tutor. Life Drawing Academy is your unique chance to learn from accomplished fine artists and art teachers, Alexander Rishkin, Vladimir London, and Natalie Ricci who can personally teach you strong drawing skills step by step. All three teachers have exceptional art education and spent many years practicing and teaching art. The drawing techniques and methods we teach are the same as students learn in the best art academies in Moscow and St. Petersburg. To enter one of these academies, you would have to learn Russian and spend at least seven years practicing just to get prepared for entry exams under a teacher who graduated from such an academy.
More than 50 students compete for every place available, so there is no guarantee you would ever have a chance to enter one of the best Russian art academies. However, there is a solution. You don't have to learn Russian, and you don't have to relocate for seven or more years. You can study in the comfort of your home, and your top quality art education can start today, right now. We offer you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to sign up for personal tutoring within the Life Drawing Academy. Here's what you will get. In addition to all the benefits you already have as a Life Drawing Academy member, you will also receive personal tutoring that is custom tailored to your current level of drawing skills. This means that Academy tutors will evaluate your drawing skills and prepare an individual step-by-step -step curriculum for you. This curriculum will include up to 100 drawing tasks that you will do, one by one, under the guidance of the tutors. You will receive a detailed description of how to do every task and what to pay attention to. Such drawing tasks will push your drawing skills to a higher level. Here are just a few examples of topics that we will cover in personal tutoring. How to use contours in life drawing. How to avoid common mistakes in portrait drawing. How to achieve likeness in portraits. The geometrical forms of a head. How to place facial features correctly. How to use constructive principles when drawing portraits. How to use perspective and foreshortening in portraits. How to achieve a three-dimensional look in portraits. How to draw facial features in various angles of view. How to draw children's portraits. How to depict emotions in portraits. How to avoid common mistakes in figure drawing. How to use perspective and foreshortening when drawing figures. How to achieve a three-dimensional look in figure drawing. How to use constructive drawing principles when drawing figures. How to render tonal values. Drawing figures in motion. How to depict gravity in figure drawings. How to draw the folds and wrinkles of draperies. How to draw clothed figures. How to learn to draw quickly, gesture drawing. Depending on your level of skills, you will also receive tasks on constructive drawing, tonal rendering, proportions, composition, and so on. Here's how personal tutoring works. 1. When you sign up, you will get a dedicated art teacher who will provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring, teach you how to do every drawing task, and assess your progress. 2. There are no entry exams, but before tutoring begins, you will have to make several drawings as instructed. 3. Your drawings will be assessed and in-depth detailed critique provided. This critique will explain the gaps in your drawing skills and what personalized curriculum you will need to follow to learn the missing knowledge and skills. 4. Drawing tasks will be given to you one by one, and a tutor will explain in detail what to do and how. 5. Your timing will be very flexible. You can study at your own pace, practicing drawing in the comfort of your home or a studio. When ready, you will send photos of your drawings to us. 6. We will assess every artwork you do within your individual curriculum and will provide detailed instructions on how to improve. 7. The next tasks will be given upon successful completion of previous ones. 8. There is no way to fail. This personal tutoring is unlimited and comes for a lifetime until you achieve your personal goals and drawing skills. By now, you might have some questions and we can answer the most asked ones here. Question. What is a personal tutoring course you offer? We offer the Life Drawing Academy Correspondence Course. It is a unique, self-paced, distance education under the personal guidance of Academy tutors. Here, you will learn traditional drawing techniques by following a curriculum tailored to your skills and needs. Question. Can I really learn how to draw without sitting next to the tutor? If you expect that an art teacher in some contemporary art college will show you how to draw by his or her own example, or explain how to improve every line you do, 
Think again. This is not how contemporary art education is delivered. Having a dedicated Life Drawing Academy tutor is your unique chance to get far better art education than any contemporary art college or university in the West would ever provide. With access to the Internet, you don't have to sit next to us to learn the best drawing techniques. With the help of video lessons and written instructions, you will get all you need to improve your drawing skills. Question. What topics does the Life Drawing Correspondence course cover? This depends on your level of skills and goals. A unique curriculum will be created especially for you. If you are a beginner, your individual curriculum might include fundamental basics such as rules of perspective, constructive drawing principles, techniques of tonal rendering, and so forth. If you are an intermediate student, we will give you drawing tasks to cover any areas you are missing. These might be proportions and anatomy of a human body, how to use perspective when drawing figures and portraits, how to draw hands and feet, and so on. If you are an advanced student, your curriculum will concentrate on the areas you would like to develop further. For example, how to depict emotions in portraits, how to draw dynamic figures, and how to portray personality. Your drawing tasks will grow with your skills. Tasks will advance from simple to more complex topics. Your curriculum won't be set in stone. If you decide to learn specific topics, they will be incorporated into your studies. Question. How does communication happen between my tutors and me? All communication will be via email. This will help to keep track of all correspondence, drawing tasks, images, and artworks. You will have all communication in writing, so you will never lose or forget what was said, what advice was given, and what critique provided. Question. Can I talk via Skype or over a phone to a tutor? Verbal drawing instructions and answers might be forgotten by the next day, but written guidelines will stay with you forever. For this reason, we won't waste your time over a phone or Skype call, but will correspond in writing. Question. How can I learn life drawing in a correspondence course? Good life drawing skills have to be based on a strong foundation of constructive drawing, anatomy for artists, and proficient drawing techniques. It is perfectly possible to learn all this with our distance tutoring, by doing the drawing tasks you receive. Question. Will I need to hire models or purchase some extra materials? Before hiring any models, there are many things you will need to cover to be ready for life lessons. You don't have to hire models unless you want to. There are many other free ways to draw figures and portraits from life, and we will cover those possibilities in the course. Regarding art materials, this course is not about drawing mediums, but skills. A drawing board, a few graphite pencils, a couple of erasers, a crafts knife, and access to the internet are all you need for this course. Question. When will my personal tutoring be completed? There will be up to 100 drawing tasks. Your study will be accomplished when you do all of the tasks one by one with the required quality. This is a self-paced art course. You can take as much time as you need to complete it. Question. How long does it take to learn drawing under your guidance? It depends on you. If you do one drawing task per week, it would require two years. There are no deadlines, no time pressure. Even if you have only 20 minutes a day, that will be enough to keep going. Question. Will I receive a diploma at the end of this course? Yes. A diploma in your name will be issued to commemorate the completion of the Life Drawing Academy Correspondence Course. Question. What would happen if my dedicated tutor became unavailable? There are several art tutors in the Life Drawing Academy. Your art education will go smoothly regardless of what tutor is available at any given time. Question. Will personal tutoring work for me? The question is actually the other way around. Will you work to achieve your goals? 
generations of fine artists were taught the same traditional drawing techniques we offer you. As long as you follow our guidance and tutoring, your drawing skills will grow from task to task. Question. Can I purchase one or several individual lessons? The Life Drawing Academy Correspondence Course is one unit, designed to advance your skills to a professional level. It is not divisible into isolated lessons to be purchased separately. A lesson you would like to receive might require other drawing skills you don't have yet. That is why we offer one continuous sequence of drawing tasks to ensure that you receive all the necessary knowledge and skills in each task to progress to the next ones. Question. Can I cancel this correspondence course at any time? We value our time very highly. It is the only commodity that cannot be duplicated. That is why we would like to have like-minded students who are serious about becoming professional artists and have self-motivation and a burning desire to learn drawing. If you are thinking about signing up and dropping out later, you would better look for other opportunities. Because our time is limited, places are limited. Please do not take someone else's place if you are not sure whether you want to go to the end and complete the Life Drawing Academy Correspondence Course. Question. How much does individual tutoring cost? When it comes to pricing, consider this. A contemporary art college or university will cost you anything up to $100,000 with no guarantee that you will graduate with good drawing skills. The Life Drawing Academy Correspondence Course is different. Here, we teach drawing the same way art students learn in the best Russian art academies. In this course, you will receive one-on-one -on -one personal guidance from academy tutors who will teach you traditional drawing skills and 100 drawing tasks. Every task will have in-depth instructions, including several discussions, critiques, and pieces of advice on improvement. The value of such tasks is $99 each, which is $9,900 in total. However, for a limited number of students, we offer this course for only $997. When the places are filled, we will suspend enrollment or put the price to its real value. Question. May I have a discount? Yes. As a Life Drawing Academy member, for a limited time only, you can enroll in the Correspondence Course at a reduced price of only U.S. $700. This is your unique chance to get unlimited personal tutoring at a tiny fraction of what it really costs. Don't miss your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Enroll now.